you need to have Jesus lamb. What and what, girl? It was <laughs> it was a scary mess. This thing's so so dirty. Rare beauty brush. Wow, I almost said rare beauty. Girl, I just can't. My tongue be twisted, girl. I mean, come on, it's makeup. So obviously I have on makeup and obviously it's going to look like I have on makeup, but come on, you get what I'm saying, you know? What up? Here we are in a new setting. I know, very unusual. I'm back in my studio. It's been a while and I wanted something new. So here we are. I just threw on my wig. We're gonna jump into this video in a sec. I'm brushing my hair with this Sephora Collection Wet Brush Luxe that was sent to me. My other brush broke. I have not curled or done anything to this wig in ages. These are just leftover curl from God knows when. All right, this is gonna be a casual get ready with me. I am gonna be trying some new products as you know. I have my name light right here and the reason why I have you at an angle is because there's a glare coming in from the highest part of my window and it's just so distracting. So I need to figure that out. So until I figure that out, <laughs> I'm gonna be at this angle like this, but I think it looks so cute. It's from Etsy. All the links to the products that I'm gonna be using will be below. Today for foundation, I'm gonna be using the new House Labs foundation. It is a natural finish, it's medium coverage, and I haven't ever tried this before. I was sent a few of these and the color that I think is gonna be my shade is 530 Deep Neutral. You know I love to use neutrals. If you're new here, if you're not, make sure you subscribe, follow me on all socials. And again, all products will be listed below. This is what the foundation looked like on my hand. I think that this will be a match. But now I'm a little bit concerned. You know that you need to have Jesus lamb. So you know you need to have two different foundation shades, one for the winter time, one for the summertime, because usually in the summertime, all of our skin will get darker because we're in the sun a lot more. It's just sunnier outside, right? Unless you live in a warm weather climate that's warm all the time, then perhaps you would have just one shade. But I, of course, have multiple shades. This shade, when I pumped it out on a towel before I did the video, I thought would match me. It can match. We are going to go with it. But is this what I would like? No. I would prefer something darker. Like I said, this is 530 neutral. Okay, so a little bit of a shocker. Clearly when I first applied it, I applied a lot. After I blended everything out, this is a Sigma flat kabuki brush. Again, all links below. After I blended everything out, this looks really good. I mean, granted, it's looking really warm compared to my chest, but when everything comes together, it will be fine. I made it work, but now I wonder if I should get a different color because this is 530 deep neutral. There's 540 deep neutral with pink undertones. Don't want that. There's 560 deep neutral with peach undertones. Don't want that. There's 570 cool with deep cool. Maybe I should get deep cool with golden undertones. Dang, 570 might be way too dark. I don't know, I don't know. Let's finish the whole face. This I can make work, but you know, when I first put the foundation on, I like for it to be amazing as opposed to, oh, I made this work. You get what I'm saying? Now for concealer, this is not new. This is the KVD Vegan Beauty. The shade is tan 177. In fact, I was using this on a live recently with Kohl's. I don't know if you were on it, if you saw it, but that did happen. And I was using this and I was like, yo, I love this. What happened to it? Well, the thing is, is there are so many concealers, so many products to use and to get through, to try out that I have to put stuff away and I forget and whatever. So I just want to grab this because I do like it. This is a Sephora collection sponge and it's their original total coverage sponge my first time using this so here we go it's small I wish it were bigger I'm just used to using a fatter sponge but this pointy part right here is working nicely blending out the harsh lines, turning this over. Of course, this sponge is soaked. If you don't understand how to use your makeup sponge, make sure you watch my video where I talked about making sure that your makeup sponge is in its most ideal state for use. Okay, got a whole video on that. And I actually did a tutorial showing you what happens when your sponge is soaked. Okay. And also when it is damp the way that it's supposed to be. I like this sponge, I just hate how small it is. I wish it was bigger. It's just tiny compared to the Amazon sponges that I use or even the Beauty Blender. It just feels smaller, but it is nice. It is soft. It is not so dense, which is great because I hate when it's too thick. You can't really pinch it. It doesn't maneuver the way that I would like for it to, but this is nice. Okay, so I turned the camera this way because I was just, it was bothering me that one side of my face had a glare. So here we are. Now to contour, I have 
I've not used this nearly as much as I should and I like this. I really, really do. If you've seen me use it in a different video, then you know how it all went down for me. The new LYS bronzer. This is the color Worthy. No Limits Worthy. It is so, oh my gosh. It is so creamy. I ended up using too much last time and now I know to go easy with her. Wow, she is just great. And you know I love using the powder version of this shade, so just amazing. And this blended out so beautifully. It looked dark in the beginning, but it definitely blends out well. I didn't use too much, obviously, the first time I used it. What and what, girl, it was, it was a scary mess, you know? So far, I can say about the foundation, I do like it. The shade did really blend well. We are getting the natural finish from it. We are seeing a natural shine, and I am seeing the medium coverage of it all. I do like it. Have you tried this? Do you plan on trying it? I want to know. I want you to comment and tell me what your thoughts are so far. And if so, what shade are you? I want to know too. Did you find your shade? Because I do see an assortment of darker colors, but you know, I don't know if you found your shade. And this is the, this thing's so, so dirty. This is a Rare Beauty. Oh, it doesn't say anything. It's just a Rare Beauty, br rare beauty brush. Wow. I almost said Rare Beauty Girl, I just can't. My tongue be twisted, girl. Now, to do my nose, I'm gonna take a little bit of the product on the back of my hand because I can't play no games. This color is very dark, pigmented, amazing. Love this, okay? Taking some product back of the hand, then going to diffuse it again. So I put the product here. I took some and then diffused it there because I don't need this to be too dark. It is very beautiful. It is very highly pigmented. I love the tone, the deepness of it. And because of all of that, I have to go easy. And I'm taking what I already stippled. I already diffused it onto my hand. I'm taking that part and I'm blending it down. I want the nose contour to be visible, but I don't want it to look like insane. <laughs> it needs to look natural a little. I mean, come on, it's makeup. So obviously I have on makeup and obviously it's going to look like I have on makeup, but come on, you get what I'm saying. You feel me? So here at the tip of the nose, just bringing it to a point here. Yeah. Mm. I just always have to add the yeah, you know, it just does something for me. Hi. What do we think? Comment and let me know. And now let's finish the rest of the face. I'll do a fall look too, and then we'll see how we feel about this foundation in the end. Okay, really fast to report on this powder. I just used it to set under my brow. I'm gonna do my eyes in a second, but I'm not a fan of this because I don't know if I showed it to you or not. I was I had a phone call, but when I was applying it to my T-zone area with that sponge, it began to pill up. So it pilled up, meaning it clumped up. It's like the powder dried and looked like it had chips on my face. If you know, then you know. If this has happened to you before, then you know what I'm referring to. And of course I just dusted it away. It wasn't a problem, but the fact that it did that and I have so many products and I'm wanting to do a better job of keeping around things that I actually love and not just having stuff around just to have around, that was a problem for me. All right, so taking some of the product with this sponge, I'll link it, Amazon. Even in the actual component, it looks chunky. And then when I pressed it on, it's chunky. It's not finely milled like perhaps the Laura Mercier one, okay? Let's go on the side of the nose a little. You see, it's not blending in effortlessly like this would if it were, and it's even, it's even leaving a mark. It's not blending in effortlessly. Okay, yes, I had to press it several times in order for it to do what it needed to do. And yeah, it looks fine. It's doable. It's just, I don't wanna have to do all that.
Now this pink lippy, Dior, obviously. Links are all gonna be below on what I've been using. I get it. This is for anyone who's wanting an effortless look. This is not a high pigment type color, although as I'm building it up, so it's buildable, okay? It's not like off the rip, one layer, boom, full coverage color. It is comfortable. I wish the Dior hardware was gold. That's so annoying, it's silver. Anyway, that's just me being annoying. But I like how this combination comes in. I can make the outer part of my lip a little darker if I wanted to with a darker pencil, but that Valentino color as you saw is really pretty too. You can put that all over your lip if you wanted to or do this blend that I've done here. So let me just tell you what I think about this Urban Decay Mini Heat Palette. I do like it. I used the last color as you saw or the first color on the inner part of my eye. It's not giving me the shimmer that I normally prefer in the inner eye, but it did open it up in a subtle, soft way. So this is perfect for you if you are a beginner at makeup and or just want one palette that can do everything. There's no black in this. So of course you're gonna need a black eyeliner. I like the brown eyeliner that I did the wing with cause it's subtle. I have not been doing a brown liner in the longest of times. I am back now because because I do like the brown liner as an option because it's more subtle. It just really is pretty. So what do you think about this look? I want you to comment and let me know. The lighting was being annoying, but we, we did push through. Comment, let me know what you think about this look and also what you think about this foundation. The skin is giving authentic skin, okay? We, we have pores and imperfections and all the things, but I do feel like it's comfortable. I like it. I'm going to leave all links below. Follow me on all socials as always. Glad you're here and thanks for watching. Bye.